what's up guys welcome back to another video and today we're back here in the dag garage taking a look at my steam deck lcd that we've done some stuff to uh we've mutilated it so we've had a uh graphics card to this steam deck this graphics card is attached to the steam deck very jankily may i add it's actually glued or not glued uh double-sided sticky tape to a dongle which is double-sided sticky tape to the steam deck graphics card is a rx 6400 let, let me tell you real quick why i did this okay so the reason why i did this was because i found out that these rx 6400s pretty low power meaning they only take out i think max 50 watts or something like that so i was thinking i was like how can i power this thing without a power supply like a full-size atx like something like this Something like that. How can I do that? And I figured it out and it's with this adapter that is $20 on Amazon and I'll link this if someone wants an adapter like this in the description below. And basically it's a normal plug. It's a 120 volt, uh, uh, 100, 240 volt, um, and the output is 12 volt, um, five amps. So basically 50 watts. This thing will produce 50 watts and it will send it via survey says molex molex meaning this adt m.2 to pci x16 slot i have here accepts molex and meaning that i can power this graphics card with this small adapter yes we are not 100 percent free of wires because you do need to power the graphics card and you have to power the dongle because you need to power this um, USB type C, uh, which our OS is running, which is Bazite right now. And we'll get into that in a minute. So you're technically tethered, but if you're tethered, there's solutions around it. You can get this one of these adapters. This thing's a 200 watt uh, inverter that uses a DeWalt battery and you can plug this in. This is a private game for two hours with one of these things next to you. Look at this, put it all in the backpack, but yeah it's not completely portable but you can and there are workarounds to make it portable so before everyone goes and buys a rx 6400 and one of these uh these powers uh power bricks don't just don't 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 for now because your boy has spent the last i don't know about a week Spent the last week trying to get this thing to work properly, and it hasn't. And to be honest, if you've seen the last video, this is not the first small full form. This isn't the first small form factor graphics card I bought. I actually went ahead and picked up one of these. This is actually a better graphics card. This is the RX 6500M. Something I got uh, secondhand on Macari. And this is a pretty decent, decent card. It is a 4X slot versus this uh, 16X slot card. But this is actually slightly faster than this. But the reason why, even though I bought this prior to this graphics card, which is the XFX card, is because this does not work with either bazite or chimera it just doesn't work and i spent about five days or four days four, four four or five days trying to figure that out and then i just went ahead and ordered this one on amazon and it works just fine but there's problems with this it just does not work well with bazite so if you are a fan of the channel you know that i've already attempted bazite in the past and external graphics cards tied to steam deck just does not work well with bazite it doesn't work well at all and I was hoping maybe probably there's been an update. They did some changes. And then now we can use external graphics cards with the Steam Deck a lot better. And it just doesn't work. And to make things worse, Chimera doesn't work anymore. And I can't figure out how. I've tried so many things. I've reinstalled them so many times. And I'm just, I'm done. I'm, I'm going to... I'm calling quits. So this video is not a how-to or should you. I'm just going to let you know I quit. I quit on this project for the time being because I cannot get it to work and it's all software issues and it just kills me because I cut up this backplate even more. Actually, this is actually the original backplate. So I'm going to start taking, tearing it down a little bit and you can kind of see what's going on there. Everything is held together literally with double-sided sticky tape. That's the graphics card. It's a RX 6400. Um, I even take the tape off uh, on this one and uh, M.2, that's foam that was just holding it in place. Um, I didn't even go as far to, to secure any of this stuff because I just needed a test to make sure it worked. 
this whole thing works. This whole Mababa works because Windows works perfectly. So if you want to do a Windows like this, you could, but you can't really because you need external display if you have a graphics card doing on Windows. And that's why I was attempting to do it Bazite or Chimera because you can get away with going to desktop mode and actually using the native display on the Steam Deck as your monitor. And it actually works great. If you see my previous videos, it worked great, but nothing's working anymore. Nothing's working. I've tried the old BIOSes, I updated to new BIOSes, and nothing will work. The whole thing just does not want to work anymore for whatever reason. And another reason why I'm pulling the plug on this um, project is because I need this adapter. I don't want to have to buy another one. And I need this adapter for this thing, this uh, All Ryzen 750-700U. Um, I don't know if you guys seen that video. We're modding this so we can attach a 6600 XT to it so that we can power a many of games, many of games. Um, but I, you, I needed it for this for this um, project and so this has been sitting in the back burner and i want to kind of move that forward because this one's complete standstill right now it just does not work whatsoever and it sucks it sucks 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 because i primarily bought this graphics card to do this this didn't work so i bought another graphics card which is this one the 6400 and it works but it the software doesn't work so you can see how frustrating this can be all in all it was a very fun experience it was great um, you can actually get games to run on natively on the screen on Bazite, but it's it's terrible. I've tried everything to get the games to play well, and it's worse than the onboard GPU because uh, whatever reason, Bazite just does not work well with external graphics card with a Steam Deck for whatever reason. But the great crowning achievement. Of this whole thing was the fact that we found something that can provide 50 watts over molex so this is something that's going to stay in the workshop a lot um it's great to know that we have that capability uh, because it's it's super it, it's it this was so this was i don't need a power supply to power these small cars anymore because i have this it's it's so nice not to have to lug the big atx power supplies around anymore uh, even though we um, fixed that problem with the uh, TFX power supply for the other one I built. But, yeah, that's it. Long story short, your boy failed. I can't get it to work. I've tried everything that I can think of. And now I'm just going to scrap this entire project in total until maybe maybe someone comments below and tells me a fix for it. And then I'll retry it. I've tried a lot of things. I've gone to every Reddit post everything on bazite i've done all these things to try to get this thing to work and i just can't get it to freaking work and chimera just does not work i i've installed chimera i think five times already i reinstalled it and it just doesn't work but windows works great with this setup but you, I, I, you can't use the native screen on windows so it doesn't work oh i really hope this thing would work it is pretty cool to have a graphics card uh, attached to your steam deck and if this actually did work properly, I was going to make a new backplate to, to, to hold all this stuff. That was like my ultimate goal. I was like, okay, if I can get this thing working properly, then I will invest the time and model 3D model a brand new backplate to hold this whole thing. Because tell me this does not look sick. I know it's janky and uh, I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh, that's so janky. Oh, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. This looks cool to me. This looks freaking cool to me. There's a graphics card attached to the Steam Deck. And yes, it's not powered by battery. You need a power supply, but still the possibility. So hopefully in the future, Bazite or Chimera um, fixes this issue between the APU on the Steam Deck and software and the graphics card so that we can do something like this in the future. Because that's exactly what I want to do. There's so much potential here. And I, I really think that you can make a really beasty handheld for little no money. And before I let this video go, let's just talk about price, right? So brand new RX 6400, which I paid is 140. Um, this ADT, you can get this thing um, at uh, on AliExpress for I believe $15, 15 to $20. And then um, if you go on Amazon, I think they're sold out still like 35 bucks. So AliExpress is the way to go for that. This power supply is from Amazon and this is 20 bucks. So so 20 160 
and then let's say I paid thirty dollars for this thing. Uh, once so was it? What was it? One sixty, one ninety. So one hundred ninety dollars. You can essentially plus the dongle. So let's just call it two ten. You can attach a graphics card to your Steam Deck. So two hundred ten dollar upgrade. It's not a cheap upgrade, but I, if we can get this thing to work properly, I guarantee this will be better than any other handheld out there um, in the market. But the, it's software. It's freaking software. I really wanted to design a new backplate, but I can't. I can't justify spending the time to do it because this just it doesn't work. But other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.